Welcome to my research presentation on multivariate time series forecasting of crypto asset prices using transformers. Multivariate forecasting attempts to predict future outcomes based on historical context and directly applies to many domains, including science, policy, and business. Modeling a set of variables allows us to interpret dependency connections that provide additional context or early warning signals for future conditions. Time series forecasting, TSF, models typically deal with a small number of variables with long-term temporal dependencies that require historical memory and distant forecasting. Encoder-decoder sequence-to-sequence architectures commonly handle this. However, the relationships between input variables are usually unknown, sparse, or time-dependent. Examples include many health and finance applications. In these cases, we have no other choice than to discover variable relationships from data. In this project, we will flatten multivariate inputs into long sequences where each input token isolates the value of single variable at a given time step. The resulting information allows long-range transformer architectures to learn self-attention networks across space and time jointly. This creates a spatio-pearl attention mechanism. Figure 1 show cases the difference between temporal and spatio-pearl attention. The spatial transformer can interpret long context windows and forecast many time steps into the future while also discovering the spatial relationships between hundreds of variables. The spatial scalability of the spatial transformer suggests applications to the kinds of forecasting problems currently dominated by graph neural network GNN, meth odds. GNN rely on predefined graphs representing the relationships between input variables. We empirically show that spatio pearl sequence learning with transformers can recover the relationships necessary to achieve competitive performance on these tasks while learning spatial and tempo RAL connections purely from data. In this project, I will attempt to evaluate this technique on forecasting the price changes of several cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrency prices are notoriously volatile and difficult to predict. Even with the help of advanced ML techniques, it is still a challenge to produce accurate forecasts. There are several reasons why forecasting crypto prices is so tricky. First, there is a lack of reliable data. Cryptocurrency prices are not based on an underlying asset or economic fundamentals. Instead, they are driven by speculation and news events. This makes it very hard to produce reliable historical data that can be used to train machine learning models. Another reason why forecasting crypto prices is problematic is the number of variables that can affect prices. In addition to the traditional financial variables, such as interest rates and asset prices, several other factors can affect crypto prices. These include news events, government regulations, and even the weather. Finally, machine learning models are only as good as the data used to train them. In the case of cryptocurrency prices, the data is often noisy and unreliable. This makes it difficult for machine learning. The data set which I have created contains features for seven cryptocurrencies over two years, which were recorded in hourly intervals resulting in 15,000 rows. Furthermore, all data points were gathered from different sources, and then matched by timestamp to generate the data set, which proved challenging to create continuous data set without missing values, therefore, the number of track currencies was limited to seven. The cryptocurrencies included are Bitcoin, BTC, Ethereum, ETH, Litecoin, LTC, Monero, XMR, NEO, EOS, and LINK. In addition, the data includes the date, opening price, high price, low price, closing price, the volume traded, the volume traded in the base currency, number of trades, and the fear and greed index. The fear and greed index is a measure of emotions and sentiment in the market, with a lower number representing great fear and a higher number confidence in the market. This feature should allow the model understand the behavior of cryptocurrencies over time and understand how external factors influence them. Furthermore, to ensure relevancy to up-to-date market conditions, the dataset is updated daily. The dataset is great for multivariate forecast in as it contains information about multiple currencies and sentiment on a given time step. This should allow for a more accurate prediction of price movements as more factors are considered. The sentiment is a particularly important factor to consider as it can significantly impact prices. The data said should be ideal for the model to discover the impact of news events on the price of cryptocurrencies. Positive news events could be expected to increase prices, while adverse news events could be expected to result in a decrease in prices. The data should also allow discovering relationships between different cryptocurrencies. For example, it might be expected that Ethereum prices will also increase when Bitcoin prices increase. 
However, if Litecoin prices increase while Bitcoin and Ethereum prices decrease, this could be indicative of a change in market sentiment. The data set provides a great opportunity to study the behavior of cryptocurrencies and understand how external factors influence them. This should allow for more accurate predictions of price movements in the future. When plotting the closing prices of all cryptocurrencies, as well as the sentiment against each other, we can see that Bitcoin and Ethereum are by far the dominant players in terms of value. We can see that the fee index slash sentiment correlates with how the market behaves, meaning this will most likely be a good feature for a model to learn from. We can also convert the dataset into hourly change rates for the closing price to spot correlations between cryptocurrency size and sentiment more easily. Converting closing prices into daily change rates increases the stationarity of our dataset and will make patterns more visible. To overcome a transformer's temporal indifferences, the authors of the paper Time 2 VEC Learning a Vector Representation of Time propose a model agnostic vector representation for a time called Time 2 VEC. Furthermore, this vector representation can be added to neural network architecture to improve a model's performance. Thus, transformers with NLP data tend to utilize positional encoding to provide a notion of word order to the model. Therefore, the transformer requires a notion of time when processing crypto asset prices. Without time embeddings, the transformer would not receive any information about the temporal order of asset prices. Hence, a crypto asset price from 2022 can have the same influence on tomorrow's price prediction as a price from the year 2016. And, of course, this would be ludicrous. Therefore, to overcome a transformer's temporal indifferences, I will implement the approach described in Time 2 VEC. Learning a Vector Representation of Time The paper's authors propose a model agnostic vector representation for time, called Time 2 VEC. We are left with the two essential steps when considering the two main insights, periodic and non-periodic patterns. An example of this periodic pattern is the amount of daylight that varies over different times of the year. In contrast, an example of a non-periodic pattern would be the novel COVID-19 symptoms, which occur with a high probability the older a patient is. Secondly, a time representation should have an invariance to the rescaling of time, meaning that the time representation is not affected by different time increments, e.g., days, hours or seconds, and long time horizons. This leaves us with the following mathematical expression. To overcome a transformer's temporal indifferences, the authors of the paper Time 2 VEC Learning a Vector Representation of Time propose a model agnostic vector representation for a time called Time 2 VEC. Furthermore, this vector representation can be added to neural network architecture to improve a model's performance. Thus, transformers with NLP data tend to utilize positional encoding to provide a notion of word order to the model. Therefore, the transformer requires a notion of time when processing crypto asset prices. Without time embeddings, the transformer would not receive any information about the temporal order of asset prices. Hence, a crypto asset price from 2022 can have the same influence on tomorrow's price prediction as a price from the year 2016. And, of course, this would be ludicrous. Therefore, to overcome a transformer's temporal indifferences, I will implement the approach described in Time 2 VEC. Learning a Vector Representation of Time the paper's authors propose a model agnostic vector representation for time, called Time 2 VEC. We are left with the two essential steps when considering the two main insights, periodic and non-periodic patterns. An example of this periodic pattern is the amount of daylight that varies over different times of the year. In contrast, an example of a non-periodic pattern would be the novel COVID-19 symptoms, which occur with a high probability the older a patient is. Secondly, a time representation should have an invariance to the rescaling of time, meaning that the time representation is not affected by different time increments, e.g., days, hours or seconds, and long time horizons. This leaves us with the following mathematical expression. Transformers are a neural network architecture that uses a self-attention mechanism, allowing the model to focus on the relevant parts of the time series to improve prediction qualities. The self-attention mechanism is constructed of a single-head attention and multi-head attention layer. The self-attention mechanism can connect all time series steps at once, leading to the innovation of long-term dependency interpretations. Finally, all these processes are parallelized within the transformer architecture, allowing a speedup of the learning process. Modern transformers are primarily focused around the multi-head self-attention (NSA) mechanism. Given a sequence, X, 
consisting of an input of length L to generate d-dimensional query, key, and value vectors with learn. TSF problems can involve two different types of complexity. The length of the forecast sequence, L, and the number of variables considered at each time step N. As N grows, it becomes increasingly important to explicitly model the relationships between each variable. Recent TSF methods create their input as XD, it, concatenated vectors of multiple variable values for each time step. Attention-based models will connect the variable values at a given time step to entire time steps in the past. However, the modeled variables may have different periodicities and relations to one another. This can be a problem when trying to predict future weather patterns in an area like Hong Kong, where weather patterns can be very different from those in other parts of the territory. In order to precisely predict the weather in Hong Kong, a model would need to be able to attend to the values of nearby stations when the current weather cycle began. However, this may have occurred before the information relevant to the stations in other parts of the country. When confronted with this problem, a temporal attention model will average these requirements and attend to time steps approximately somewhere in the middle. A compromise that provides little relevant information to either situation. There have been several attempts to confront this problem in the context of RNN-based attention. These models switch between separate spatial and temporal layers. Several works are extending MSA to similar spatial, then temporal architectures, still, they rely on the predefined variable graphs standard in the GNN literature. Introducing the space timeformer, every token of the input sequence represents one unique thought, e.g., a single word in the NLP background. However, multivariate TSF intrinsic Kali models multiple distinct sequences per time step. One resolution is to recover the one idea per token structure of NLP. This can be done by separating XD it inputs into a subsequence of XD itty, XD, etc. Tokens, where n will be the number of variables we are modeling. The consequential sequence is n times longer, but denotes each node of the spatio parole graph as a unique token. Assuming the spacetime former attention mechanism can scale with the additional length, it can now learn individual relationships for every variable. The distinction is depicted in figure. After flattening the input variables, we need to allow transformers to interpret the variable each token originates from correctly and its time and scalar value. Unfortunately, transformers are permutation invariant, meaning they cannot in interpret the order of input tokens by default. This is fixed by adding a position embedding to the tokens, usually with a fixed sinusoidal pattern. For example, in the spacetime former flat tend representation, n tokens should have the same position. This can be solved with a modified positional embedding that accounts for the flattened sequence. However, a fixed positional embedding only preserves relative order. In the NLP context, relative position matters. But in a time series problem, the input sequence takes place in a specific window of time that may be relevant to long-term seasonal patterns. For example, it is essential to know the relative order of three weeks of temperature observations. Still, it is also necessary to understand that those three weeks take place in late spring when temperatures are typically rising. The space timeformer achieved this by learning positional embeddings based on a time 2 vec layer. Time 2 vec passes a representation of absolute time, e.g., the calendar date time, through sinusoidal patterns of learned offsets and wavelengths, as explained earlier in the time 2 vec section. This helps represent periodic relationships that are relevant to accurate predictions. In the spacetime former approach, we append a relative order index to the time input values for. The concatenated time C rise value and time embedding are then pro injected into. The input dimension of the spacetime former model with a feed forward layer. We refer to the resulting output as the value time embedding. Input encoding pipeline 1. The standard multivariate input format with time information included. Decoder inputs have missing. Value set to zero where predictions will be made. 2. The time sequence is passed through a time 2 vec layer to generate a frequency embedding that represents periodic input patterns. 3. A binary embedding indicates whether this value is given as context or needs to be predicted. 4. The integer index of each time series is mapped to a spatial representation with a lookup table embedding. 5. The time 2 vec embedding and variable values of each time series are projected with a feed forward layer. 6. Value time, variable, and given embeddings are summed and laid out SD. MSA attends to relationships across both time and variable space at the cost of a longer input sequence.
The space-time former is heavily inspired from them performer which propose favor attention, a linear approximation of softmax attention using a random kernel method. All the experiments in this report were conducted on 2x NVIDIA A6000 accelerators with each of 40 GB VRAM. A large amount of VRAM is necessary to process longer sequences as self-attention utilizes a lot of memory. However, scaling optimizations can still be made to process even longer sequences by scaling with initial and intermediate Conv1DS. Standard transformers compare each token to every other token to find pertinent information in the sequence. Unfortunately, this means that the model's runtime and memory use grows quadratically with the total length of its input. The space-time former dramatically exaggerates this problem by making the sequence n times longer than the time series itself due to the addition of the time embedding. Efficient transformers are still an active area of research and applications with long input sequences. These long-range transformers attempt to fit the gradient computation of longer sequences in GPU memory. However, they often add heuristics to sparse the attention graph, but those assumptions don't always hold up outside the area of NLP. So instead, the space-time former uses the performer attention mechanism, which linearly approximates MSA with a kernel of random features. The performer are efficient enough to fit sequences of thousands of tokens into GPU memory and lets us train the model in a few hours on one node with 40 GB GPU. The context sequence of historical crypto prices, associated features, and target timestamps we would like to predict are transformed to long spatiotemporal sequences. Then the performer-based encoder-decoder model 10 processes the spatiotemporal sequence and predicts the value of each variable at future time steps as separate tokens, similar to predicting the next word in an NLP setting. Subsequently, we can restack the predictions to their original format and train to minimize prediction error metrics like mean squared error MSE. Finally, the model can also create a range of forecast predictions by outputting both the mean and standard deviation of a normal distribution, in which case we train to maximize the probability of the ground truth sequence. The entire model architecture is shown below. Modern transformers are primarily focused around the multi-head self-attention MSA, mechanism. Given a sequence, X, consisting of an input of length L to generate d-dimensional query, he, and value vectors with learned. The results of training the space-time former model on the previously discussed crypto dataset with all 47 features. Each sequence comprises 200 previous time steps, representing the last 200 hours. We then aim to predict the next 40 hours for all 47 features. When looking at the differences between the two, we can see some fascinating phenomenons. One particular thing seems to happen pretty regularly when using the space-time attention of both local and cross-attention enabled. The model keeps predicting upwards trends even though the trend seems to be pretty linear in the given time period. This is the case for most predictions however sometimes the model gets it right, but mostly for more established currencies such as Ethereum and Bitcoin with a larger market cap. We can also see where the model is focusing its attention in the time series, as expected it's putting a lot of dominance on the last values in the time series, however it seems to focus quite a bit on some early values as well. Nevertheless, it is still present, but in a different form. Instead of predicting a massive price rise, the trend was expected correctly, but with a wrong scale. Another thing we can observe is that the attention plots are far less concentrated and less focused on particular features in the time series when in the temporal configuration. In the training, I typically saw that once the model reaches an optimum, all evaluation metrics get worse over time due to overfitting. Transformers are known to be very data hungry and tend to overfit easily. This is no different from being space-time former. I have observed a tendency to overfit when training the model as can be seen here when observing the validation dataset metrics. One of the best ways to prevent this, I found, was to define strict early stop in the criterion, which stops training the soonest a loss in accuracy is detected. One of the ideas I followed was to convert the dataset into hourly change rates, meaning that we change features to the percentage changed previous time step values. This would help with two things one. First, increase the stationarity of our data, which may help identify patterns. Eliminate the problem of the different market cap sizes between the variable slash other cryptocurrencies. 
However, this regularization strategy did not work as expected. It proved incompatible with the spacetime former model and a simplified transformer architecture consisting of six encoder blocks with multi-head attention as a sanity check. The problem was always the same, the model would predict a flat line close to the zero point. This problem was particularly bad when local self-attention and cross-self-attention was enabled. One of the ideas I followed was to convert the dataset into hourly change rates, meaning that we change features to the percentage changed previous time step values. This would help with two things one. First, increase the stationarity of our data, which may help identify patterns. Eliminate the problem of the different market cap sizes between the variable slash other cryptocurrencies. However, this regularization strategy did not work as expected. It proved incompatible with the spacetime former model and a simplified transformer architecture consisting of six encoder blocks with multi-head attention as a sanity check. The problem was always the same, the model would predict a flat line close to the zero point. This problem was particularly bad when local self-attention and cross-self-attention was enabled. However, the prediction still failed to capture the considerable arable high-frequency detail of the price fluctuations. Nevertheless, other models, such as S4 model, seem to perform significantly better modeling the high-frequency data from a small amount of data. However, it cannot be said at this point that a transformer could not learn to perform equally as good or better when exposed to a lot of data. Here we can see that S4 performs significantly better than the transformer equivalent. It manages to pick up trends quite accurately however still failing on predicting the correct scale in the price movements. When looking at the results of the experiments, it is not immediately clear which model performs best. When plotting the performances of the models next to each other, we can see that both the spacetime former and S4 perform pretty similar. When looking at the MAS and MSA metrics, we can see that S4 and the transformer perform on par with each other. However, this is not saying that these models perform exceptionally well, as when compared to a random sample, we can see that they still struggle to model the price movement of different currencies. And none of the predictions are particularly great without cherry picking, showcasing how exceptionally hard price forecasting actually is for ML models. Sometimes a moving average is used to help the model identify our price movements correctly however moving averages cannot be used for market predictions in real life as prior information is necessary about the time series. Therefore true market prediction is a lot more difficult than it seems. Nevertheless, comparing results from the five different models, the spacetime former predictions tend to follow the ground truth more often than the other models. However, good predictions were typically limited to cryptocurrencies with large market caps, such as BTC and ETH. Minor currencies trading trend was commonly identified, but the scale was way off. However, this was not unique to the transformer. Most models have suffered this problem. Furthermore, one particular ranking the spacetime former performs particularly well was the training loss and validation and test loss, beating all models by quite a significant margin. This project has presented a unified method for multivariate forecasting of cryptocurrency prices based on long-range transformer architectures, spacetime former, to elongated spatio pearl input of cryptocurrency market features. The spacetime former discussed in this report jointly learns temporal and spatial relationships to achieve competitive results on long-sequence time market forecasting and can scale to many features without relying on a predefined graph. I see at least two promising directions for future development. First, long-range transformers are an active area of research. Smaller memory footprints and increased computational resources are likely to improve performance and open up applications of this method to more significant problems, such as expanding the context history to multiple weeks or even months off price accounts and related features. Next, solving the problem of scaling predictions correctly among various variables, we saw that market movement was typically identified correctly during experimentation. However, with an incorrect scale causing a significant loss, this can be addressed by further researching different data preprocessing methods. Another point is that it is not clear that we are fully utilizing the dynamic graph capabilities of our method of the spacetime former as it learns variable graphs across time and space jointly without assuming a fixed spatial relationship. However, S4 has similar forecasting accuracy. 
It may be that adapting the relationship between variables over time has limited benefit in the crypto benchmark datasets. For example, my datasets contain some situations where adaptive graphs are beneficial, e.g., when smaller coins are being actively pumped and dumped. However, there are probably applications where this kind of temporal graph adjustment is more essential. The proposed method and future improvements may be more beneficial in these domains. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. Any questions?